Hello? Hola. Hola. Do you know where do you speak English? Where? Selena? Yeah, uh keep going and a la derecha. Okay, see I speak it. English. You'll see it. I speak English. Okay, you'll see it. Keep this way though, right? Where the cars are parked. Okay, thank yeah, you. To the right. Thank you. Good morning guys, thanks for clicking Florida Outdoor Adventures. If you didn't see my previous video, I'm staying at Pacific View Roadhouse in beautiful Guayabito, Panama. In the mountains, um, off, off over there is the Pacific Ocean, Playa Bonita area. I'll put a map so you can see where I am. But it's just a, a beautiful, beautiful place to stay, Motor, motorcycle friendly. They have a bar, food, music. Uh, let me show you a little tour here. I filmed most of this yesterday, but um, today we're heading off. And here's my room where I stayed last night, and I spent about 20% of the night on the on the hammock here. It was so perfect. The weather's excellent. Nice breeze. Um, let me see if I get out of the wind noise. Today's destination is Playa Venao. Playa Venao, Panama. So I'm riding alone this trip, but not really because I'm taking all of you along with me. But first, let's eat some breakfast, okay? Let's go say hi to Red. Thank you, that was great. Okay. Thank you. Cualquier otra cosa me dices. Está bien, In yesterday's video, the waterfall wasn't on at the pool, so I wanted to share it with you before I left today uh, to Playa Venao. Here it is. Let's install a quick light that uh, Massimo, thank you buddy, made me a bracket before I came to Panama uh, to set up my Panama motorcycle, which is named Impulso. Hashtag Impulso is going to get a nice LED light bar in the front right now before I head to Playa Venao. These are uh, Red's motorcycles. Red is the owner here of the resort, or the hotel. And these motorcycles have an interesting story. Inside the bar, he has Florida motorcycle license plates. So I asked him, you know, why so many Florida plates? He buys these motorcycles in, in Florida, and then he rides them down here to Panama. And then when he changes them over to the Panama plate, he just has like a little area for the Florida ones, Florida tags to, uh, to celebrate the ride down here to Panama. Very, very interesting. And I'm sure he has some really good stories he could share with you when you come in and have a beer here at the bar. But there's Impulso. Impulso has the, the new GV Outback Trekker side cases. I have the top box. I just couldn't bring it this trip on the uh, plane. And uh, thanks, German, for, for letting me use your racks that you weren't using yet. And that allowed me to, to bring, to set everything up. Giant loop tank bag. And right up here, we're going to put a LED light like my other Super Tenere. I have a video of that that I could share with you. If you haven't seen already, it's going to go right here. All right, let's do that now. Here's the light I was planning to install right here. I'll put a link in the description for it. And it fits very nice right here in front of the Super Tenere. And here is the bracket that my buddy Massimo, the man from Japan, made for me before I came on my trip. And here's the up arrow that he marked for me. But unfortunately, it's not, it's not lining up. So I have to grind a couple, a couple pieces off right here. Maybe like a centimeter I need to grind off here and the other side so it goes up and lines up with the holes. So no big deal. Just find a little workshop or a garage or something. Stop and have it grind it off and, uh, and then I'll install it in Playa Venal. Massimo, thank you buddy, but um, it's not lining up. <laughs>
this is the this is the battery power bank that I use to uh, charge my cameras and my phone on the go. I'll put a link for the for it in the description. It lasts forever and it just works flawless. And here's the RAM mount. It's the large one and I have the iPhone 7 small so it actually hugs it at the right points on the uh, on the phone. I'll put a link also for that. Pacific View Roadhouse guys must come if you're in the area you want to spend the night cool bar cool owners motorcycle 100 percent friendly ride safe look at that let's see if we could grind down those little edges on the uh on the bracket massimo made me so i could install them Massimo, I want my money back. <laughs> okay. Mission accomplished. Fly away now, I'll install the, the bracket for the light. Okay, I'm taking an extra credit route to Fly away now. Through the northern part, heading to Oku, O-C-U. Oku, and then I need to uh, recalculate to get to Fly away now because it does not want to take me this way. But my buddy Red at the Pacific View Roadhouse told me this is very, very scenic and uh, why not, whoa, why not uh, come down through Playa Venal this way, the northern part of it, and then, uh, I guess it's northern, I'm not sure, <laughs> and then I'll, I'll hug the coast on the way back, no need to go the same way uh, in and out of uh, Playa Venal. Okay, we have a stowaway on board. <laughs> Look at the little lizard right there on the window, on the uh, windscreen, just went down. Amazing jungle mountain roads. Thank you, Red. What a ride. Beautiful scenery, but you gotta be real careful with these roads. They do have the random pothole and a lot of patching done. So you could you could check out your suspension for sure on the on the motorcycle on this road. Or cool to play out. Okay, Waze is telling me we're about 4.7 miles away from the beach. It sure doesn't look it though from here. It's all mountains and hills and farms, livestock. We'll see. Okay, I'm seeing a little bit of coast on the on the GPS, so that's a good sign. <laughs> yes. Been on the bike for like about five, six hours. I'm ready to get here. There's my little buddy. He's back. <laughs> he hasn't fallen off. That's awesome. I hope it comes out on the video right there, right on top of the tachometer. <laughs> Woo. If you look at the map, there's the ocean right there. Wow. Yes, yes. The route to Playa Venal. If you come from Oku, you're basically going through the center, over the mountains, directly onto the to the beach. Compared to hogging the coast, either way to get to this beach, GPS says 1.2 miles, and it feels like it's not 1.2 miles. It feels like it could be never. And sure enough, I'm sure the, we're going to see the beach pretty soon. Ocean, guys. To my right, Pacific Ocean. Wow. Ooh. It says I'll arrive in 1,000 feet. Okay, let's see. Wish me luck. I have no reservations. This is a recommendation by uh, by Darby. This place. So let's cross our fingers and see if they have availability. I've seen some pictures online, it's a really cool place. Hello. Is this Selena or no? No, Selena is not here. Where is I know it? in Google Map it's supposed to be Selena. I will show you. Okay.
Selena? Yeah. Is that place, you know, houses with color? Yeah. Right there. Wow, so it's totally go, off. Yes, <laughs> exactly, and another way. So you go per road, and then you have the principal entrance, you go straight, and then you will see a sign, Selena, turn right. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome, <laughs> have a nice day. This place is very cool, I'm glad I stopped anyways. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and then you tell me where you travel around. Okay. <laughs> Looking for Selena and the GPS is way, way off. So if it takes you to this Econo, or I'm sorry, Eco, Eco Lodge, you got to keep going. Eco Venal, this is what this one is uh, called. Okay, let's keep going a little bit more. Hello. Hola. Hola. Do you know where it's at? Do you speak English? Selena. Yeah, uh, keep going and a la derecha. Okay, see I speak it. English. You'll see it. I speak English. Okay, you'll see it. Keep this way though, right? Where the cars are parked. Okay, thank yeah, you. To the right. Thank you. A lot of cars. Wish me luck, guys. I hope it's not all booked up. Luck is on my side today. There was one room left, private room, and there was also dorms, uh, like, a, like a hostel with eight uh, bunk beds. And I'd rather not have the bunk bed. I'd rather have my own room. So I got lucky. There was one left uh, for two nights. So made it. I'll show you around the place. It's a tiny little room with a shared bathroom. I don't have my own bathroom. But... Uh, it's not bad, $44 a night, and um, they have a swimming pool and a cool bar I haven't been to yet, and the beach is right here, so I think it's going to be nice. Let's go take a look.